Hi, this is Anup here. This is really an exciting video series and in this video series we are going to see a packaging tool which is an innovative packaging tool that is called Smart Package Studio. Packaging team can basically install and uninstall and test application packages without looking into any infrastructure side of it. Packaging team doesn't need to do any, any kind of manual work. If you are using Smart Package Studio, you don't need to manage virtual missions a smart tester and smart package studio will handle it for you so end-to-end -end automation is available with smart package studio in the first video i will show you how to install how to set up smart package studio and what are the prerequisites and what are the best practices so let's jump into the installation part in the first video there are a couple of other videos coming in which will help you to understand how to use smart package studio and what are the advantages of using smart package studio so all these details in the coming videos but in this video we will see how to set up smart package studio with all dependencies so this is a kind of a straightforward setup so we don't need to do a lot of stuff but i just wanted to show how easy it is to install i have downloaded smart package studio the trial version and click next 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 i'm keeping everything as default and it's installed now it's a straightforward process so as you can see it created three shortcuts smart thin app editor smart capture and smart editor so it's asking me to enter the username and password which i will do without internet connection the smart studio won't work so you need to put your email id and password Along with Smart Package Studio, I would recommend to use VirtualBox, Oracle VirtualBox and this is a free download I hope and I have already downloaded it. I am trying to install it now. Okay, so I am taking the default path again. This is also a straightforward installation I would say. Okay, I will say install. Okay, just finished. So Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager is here. I already installed that. As you can see, there's a new shortcut over here, Oracle VM VirtualBox. Okay, I downloaded this from oraclevirtualbox.org. This is a free download and I will provide this link in the description of the video so you can refer. So we have installed VirtualBox. Now we need to install VirtualBox extension pack. Okay, so I'm trying to install it. This is also a straightforward process. So it's installing extension pack. Extension pack is installed successfully. Let's see how to create a Windows 10 virtual machine using Oracle VM virtual box. Let's click on new and give a name Win Win 10 and select the Windows and I'm selecting Windows 64 bit. Click next. And memory is default. That is 2 GB. Create a virtual disk now and i'm selecting the default option that is vdi you can go with vhd or vmdk i'm selecting fixed size because i i feel fixed is more faster than the dynamic one so i select fixed file location i can browse and select a different location if i want but in this case i'm going to select the default location okay, i'm going to say create it so this will create the vm once the vm is created you can can boot that VM with the ISO Windows 10 ISO and you can create a Windows 10 virtual machine so Windows 10 machine is created now the new Windows 10 machine I already had a Windows 10 1809 machine created now what I'm going to do is switching on let's log into the machine this user is a local user and it has local admin access 
I started the mission and logged into it with the admin account and I'm going to devices and click on insert guest additions CD image that devices and insert guest additions CD image didn't trigger anything so I'm logging in with administrator built-in administrator account to set up with virtual box okay let's try to go to devices devices menu and insert guest additions CD image insert guest addition addition CD image is not working actually when I clicked on it so I found that there is an ISO already. I wanted to remove that ISO or eject that ISO. So I did that. Then I'm try going to try the insert guest addition CD image again. Let's try. Okay. It seems it is working now. So let's run this run vbox windows additions dot exe we need to run this okay next everything is default install started installing clicked on install so it's asking me to reboot the machine so the installation got completed and it's asking me to reboot the machine so i'm going to reboot it let's log in with default admin account another requirement from smart capture is it's not a requirement probably it's a best practice go to services.msc and disable windows updates because this is we are going to use this as a capture mission it's best practice to disable windows update i have disabled it now let's launch now let's launch comp mgmt dot msc and create a standard user account for testing the applications so i will create a standard user account that is called test user put the password I'm going to create this user and test user is created now we are going to use this test user for testing the packages now it's time to take the snapshot of the machine so probably i will say snapshot one okay that's fine it's taking the snapshot of the machine it's finished now let's close the virtual machine click on this option power of the machine and click on restore current snapshot snapshot one which we have created click ok thank you for watching i hope this video is useful to you see you next time